so if I go back to my so this is the chart viewer if I go back to my 3d viewer um, I go back to my geometry and let me show you how to create a plane to help you see a video so for example if I create a plane which is now not XZ which is across the Y axis the XY plane and I want it to start from the beginning so I go way back to my to my beginning which is my inlet okay so that's the plane and I call it plane 2 I click apply okay and then that is done and if I go back to my 3d um, and I click on plane 2 so it shows me plane 2 which is this and now I want to see how the speed will change as it passes through the circular disk so I can create a video animation so we go to tools go to animation and you say quick animation of plane 2 um, but before that we need to set up the speed on on plane 2 so um, what you need to do is you need to go to contour and this was currently plane 1 double click on contour change this to plane 2 change this to pressure on plane 2 even better change this to velocity on plane 2 so at the moment this is our speed on um, um, plane 2 and now if we go back to our video which is tools and animation plane 2 let's make it slow as slow as we can get now if you click play it actually shows you the whole animation so you can actually see how the speed will change as it passes through the circular disk so as the speed is passing through the circular disk how and where are the changes happening um, um, in our speed movement and that is very powerful tool of using ANSYS because it can it can show very finite details of how a speed um, not just speed how any variable changes um, as we pass it through a um, through a simulation uh, and then this can be done not just for speed if I stop this um, and of course it can be saved from the save movie tab here if you want to create an animation but if I want to change now my speed to pressure click apply and if the 3d view is not that great if I go to what if, if I go to um, sorry my Z direction and now I can see it in a much more clear way um, I can go to labels do not show me the numbers so it's clear that's good I can also make it slightly transparent so I'm still able to um, 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 see the disk when the disk comes if you really want to see the disk then you can highlight the disk from here so now you can actually see the disk much better and now we repeat the same animation plane 2 and click play so in a way it is showing me a transparent plane around how the speed would be when it passes through uh, how the pressure will be how the pressure builds up around the disk as we pass it through through the disk um, and then and then you can see the whole pressure formation so first it was positive pressure now it's more negative pressure if the colors are still light I've stopped it closed it change it back to zero so it's more brighter and then tools animation and then repeat the same thing so it creates an animation and this is a very simple animation that I have shown at the moment there are many excellent animations you can do by changing in different um, uh, modes of uh, view make it 3d make it 2d see the forces and pressures and speeds around the object the methodology remains the same all you need is a good accurate geometry then you need a good accurate mesh and then you need to simulate it and then voila that's where you get the magic of of your animations and that's where um, um, people create all of these fascinating animations around airfoils around cars around bicycles um, around cyclists and whatnot so let me just stop this and if you feel that your wall is too dull 
um, you can double click on the wall you can change the color to a different color so that just to blend in or you can make it into a variable so if you want your color to be of pressure then it will show you the pressure on that object rather than um, a plain surface so it gives you many options in that case as well where you can simulate solid objects and you can simulate the planes as well there are many other things that you can do if you want to see multiple screens that can be done from here so if you want to open two different tabs you can select two tabs where on this tab click on the ball again show 3d you move to tab 2 and you want to see um, 2d and on tab 2 you want to see your streamlines so we can see streamlines in 3d and we can see how the streamlines work in 2d um, um, as well if you want your contours then that can be seen both in 3d and in 2d as well if we change pressure now to speed and then that's what changes it to a speed if I go to contour change pressure to speed and now it shows me speed if you want to create an animation again we go on animation same thing plane 2 click and now it shows me animations in both the planes simultaneously which is a very good um, um, sign because now it is uh, showing me exactly what happens in 3d and exactly what is happening in 2d as well as the air passes through the circular disk so you can see the movement and you can follow each and every path of how the forces will act so this is the qualitative side which is very powerful of the ANSYS Fluent uh, what I showed a few minutes back was the quantitative side where you can make a line and you can create all sorts of charts and graphs uh, but this is the um, qualitative a much more powerful tool of what you can do with CFD of course for you to be reaching this position the back the backlog work or the back office work has to be very strong and that means your your geometry has to be accurate your mesh has to be accurate the turbulence model needs to be good it has to be converged remember the CFD software must tell us that the solution is converged answers should be telling us rather than um, uh, it should be telling us that the error is now low and once everything is proper you will see that you would be able to do a lot of powerful simulations with it the circular disk that we have here can be easily replaced by a more complex shape can be easily replaced by an airplane or by a bicycle you can even get CAD drawings um, for those ready-made you don't even need to create your own CAD drawing and then think about it as an airplane drawing replacing your um, replacing this circular disk and then how cool an animation um, that can be done the reason why I started with a circular lecture is just so that I can take you through the basic steps of how to use CFD um, and then um, it is for you to take it to a more advanced level so with that that will conclude that will conclude my this lecture on CFD I can stop this um, and uh, we can close the video and in the end we need to go back to our workbench to make sure that the results are saved and if you get all five ticks that is an indication that your model is perfect go to file save as and then you can save your project the workbench file and then and then whenever you open the file you can come back to the same project so with that this is me signing off with a very basic lecture on how to uh, start using CFD for beginners and I hope this was useful and you would have a basic idea now of how to use ANSYS how to create your geometry how to mesh it how to see results how to visualize results and if you have any questions please feel free to add in as comments or or get in touch and take care all the best